Hi, my name is Ryan Stevens. I'm a PhD student from UNH. I study small mammals and I use Sherman traps. Unfortunately, bears like our Sherman traps too. So today I'm gonna to do a little tutorial on how to repair your broken Sherman traps. So for trap repair, you'll need a variety of tools. It's nice to have a couple different types of pliers. This first one is a very smooth, uh, pliers. It's used for bending parts of traps back. The second plier has teeth on it. It's good for pulling out pins and it also has a wire cutters uh, for trimming wires. Need a couple different types of punches. This first one's a quarter inch punch. Uh, it's good for repairing tooth damage. The second one is a 1 16th in inch punch. It's good for pushing uh, pins out on traps, taking them apart and putting them back together. It's just a small piece of wire used to push the pins out. I'm not sure what gauge it is. It's probably 18 or so, maybe 16 gauge. This is a dead blow hammer. Uh, it's good for pounding uh, dents out of traps and it won't, uh, it won't put dents in the wood blocks we'll be using or in the trap itself. This is just a regular hammer that we use for uh, using the punch. We'll also need a variety of pieces of wood. Uh, these are all cut for different parts of the trap. This happens to be a side cut to the dimensions to fit within, within the, um, the side panel. This is a, a top and this goes in the top one. They're different sizes so make sure you measure them before you do that. This is just a smaller side block uh, used for doors and uh, also the half sides. And then this is just a simple block for uh, repairing corners or other parts of the traps, such as doors. So the pounding on the traps can be fairly loud, so you may want to use hearing protection, especially if you're doing it for, for long uh, periods of time. The first thing I'm going to talk about is how to repair tooth damage in a trap. So this is an exceptionally bad one where a bear actually punctured through. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this is bend all the tabs of metal back in. So bend these down. And we'll put this down on the wood block. We'll use the quarter inch punch and a regular hammer. We'll just pound all these in. So that's pretty good. We got most of the, the big part of the dents out. At this point, I'll take the small wood block that I have and the dead blow hammer and I'll finish it off. So at that point, that'll take care of all these tooth marks. Sometimes when a trap is really bad, uh, you'll have to pull all the pins out, disassemble it, pound the pieces back together, and then reassemble. You'll want to use the 1 16th inch punch to push these out. You'll start to see the wire coming out on this side. If you push this punch all the way in and the wire is still not coming out, you can use this bent piece of wire to push it out a little farther. At this point, We'll take the pliers with the teeth on it and use that to pull out the pin. Now one important thing to note is some of these sides are often cut at different angles. So when you're repairing traps, it's important to keep uh, the panels together for a given trap. Another important thing to note is that these pins are supposed to have this bend in. If you take that bend out, a lot of times they can just fall out on you. One thing you don't want is multiple bends. So say this was bent at an angle, you can use the pliers to bend and straighten the pin back out. And that'll make it a lot easier to put back in. 
So in this strap, we already pulled the main pin out, and this one's not too bad. It's just got a couple tooth marks and some denting on here. So I'm not going to take all the panels off. I'm just going to pull that one pin and fix the damage here. I like to put one underneath, and then one I'll use on top. But first I'll get rid of these two dents using the punch. Use the block, and I'll take out the, the creases and straighten some of this out. So that should be good to go. I'm going to show uh, a, a top that's in pretty bad shape. So first of all, what we want to do is take these creases out so we can get the metal um, back down onto the, the wood. So I'll kind of bend it back with my hands. I'll use the smooth pliers to bend this back. I'll put the piece of metal over the, the wood form. And remember, this is the top. It's a little smaller than the sides. We'll use another top form to put on top of that. And we we'll use the dead blow hammer to pound these creases back out. Flip it over. Do the same thing. One important thing again to note is that you don't want to cover these eyelets because you'll smash them flat and then the piece is ruined. So that took most of the bend out. If you get some stubborn areas, you can use a smaller block to help get some of those out. And you'll also need to straighten some of these back out. Again, the smooth pliers are good for that. This one's not too bad, but for, if a bear got to it, a lot of times it can be pulled open uh, pretty far. For that again, we'll use this piece of wire and push that in, like that, and you can use the smooth pliers to bend that back around. Now make sure you have a wire in there, something to hold its place, and you can crease that back in. This one's a little bent out too. Let's push that back, pull the wire back out. So at that point, this thing's pretty much ready to go. So another problem with bears a lot of times is that the doors will come off and the bottoms get creased up. And it's important that this bottom is very flat for the trap to work correctly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is work on the sides here. I'm gonna use the smooth pliers to straighten this back out. Make sure these eyelets are in line. So now that I've got most of the bends out, I'm going to try to flatten this back out using the side uh, piece of wood. That'll be fine. This is a trap where the bear took off a door, so I'll show you how to put that back on now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is straighten this door out. So I'll take some of these bends as much as I can. Try to bend this tab back. Now there's still quite a bit of creases and you want this to be very straight. This is the top piece, works well for doors. I'll put that down and I'll use a small piece to help pound this back. For stubborn spots, you can use the end of it. Now, a lot of times the door will stay on, but it'll have a big crease in it. So you can do a similar thing with that. Just put the, the door on and then use the piece to help straighten it out like that. Right. At this point I'm going to put the door back on. The first thing I want to do is bend this wire back out. Sometimes these wires are cut very short and you may have to replace them. 
I believe they sell them on the Sherman website. Another thing you can do is just take a pin from the trap and cut it down and use it. So I left one side bent. Let me bend this back slightly more here. I'm going to push that out. Now these two tabs face the outside. So I'm going to take this bend, 90 degree bend, push it into the small hole that's there. Make sure this spring wire is down on this side. Push the door in. And now I need to push this wire back through the hole on the other side. Now this spring wire is a lot of times very hard to bend. So you can use a plier that will push it back and then use a hammer to basically pound it back down where you need it. At that point, the door is functional again. So right here I have the bottom and the side panel that's in one piece. And I'm going to take the pin, start pinning it back out. Once we get to the middle, we have to put this tab back in. This tab goes over the top of the treadle. Once we have the top on, we'll put the sides on that are split. And these two tabs face to the inside again. Now we like to use masking tape to keep our sides together so we have them matched in pairs. That helps when you have a lot of traps that need fixing. Uh, it just keeps things organized a little better. So the last step is to put in the kingpin. With, that's the one with the bend on, on the end. So the first thing you do is flip this tab back, push the treadle down, push the door in, grab one of the panels, slide the pin through, first door. At this point you need to make sure you get that tab. Grab the tab, put the pin through that one. Now the door has to go over the top, so leave the door out. Don't put the door under the treadle or else your trap won't be functional. So I'll put the door in. I'll put this last side panel down. And slide this pin through. So once this last pin is in, we need to make sure the trap works. You can push the door down and it should latch underneath the Treadle. I like to put my hand in to check the tension. It should be very light so that a small animal can be captured. Another way to check the pan tension, if you can't get your hand inside the trap to check, is just to use the back door. So if I push this back door down, it should be very gently, just enough to trip that treadle. In order to adjust the tension on the trap, you can push this little tab back and forth. And what that looks like inside the trap is you're basically moving this back and forth and that is how you adjust how sensitive you set the trap. At this point we have a functional trap that's been repaired of all bear damage. To fold it up, push the two doors in, look for the side that has the crease, push the crease in and flip it around. There you go. bottom all straightened out. <laughs> this is a trap where a, dare, a bear... At this point we have a functional trap that's been repaired from bear damage.